For years, women in southern Sudan have borne the brunt of war. The status of women in the country remains largely unchanged despite the nation's newfound independence. Recently, I spoke with Anne Abie, a women's representative at the South Sudan Parliament, and she explains the challenges women are facing and steps being taken to address them. If I take the statement of our late hero, Dr. John Garang de Mabur, he, in one of his statements, he said that women are the marginalized of the marginalized. And it is very true if you take the women in South Sudan, especially the women of Jongule, they are within that uh, category. Uh, and as such, uh, in the parliament, I represent the women list. In other words, I'm supposed to be, to be talking for the women and to work for women development. Yes, it's going to be a long-term kind of work, but the short term is, of course, the sensitization of women, giving women jobs to do, making them aware of what is going on, and mostly involve them in peace also. Uh, do you feel and, that the uh, government is really, you know, uh, very, very vigorously equipping them, giving them the uh, the facilities, the tools that uh, they need in order to advance themselves, and in order to be part of the, yeah. uh, the solutions to yeah. Sudan? Uh, in fact, the government alone won't be able to do this massive needs of the nation of South Sudan. But it's still... To some extent, the government is working. We have the affirmative action of 25% uh, women representation in the executive positions and other positions. Now in the parliament, there are about 30% women there. So, so this is in general what the government is trying to do. But now it is also our turn, we the educated women, to start to, start to sensitize our other women, to educate them and to help them. Yes, through the government funding as well as the other NGOs, so that uh, they, 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 you know, they, they come up. And for this, I'm focusing also on girl-child education, which is very poor, because when they eat certain ages, they, they are married or they drop out from school for one reason or the other. So we are informing our people about the importance of a girl-child education. But how are you, you know, kind of bringing uh, the harmony between the need for girls to advance in education, but still say we're not really, uh, you know, uh, trying to abandon our cultures. We know that the girls at some point are going to be married, mm -hmm. but they are better married women mm -hmm. as educated women. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, taking the culture into consideration, we always tell them, yes, of course, uh, in a country like ours, there will be all, all you know, sometimes there are um, those men who think that we are, uh, we want to equip the women to be against, ag against men. And that is not, uh, of course, what we are trying to say, but we are trying to, to show them some negative cultures and some positive cultures. And by then, we don't um, do the advocacy on, uh, to the women only, but even to the men, to ask them to, to share some responsibilities. I mean, like, uh, you know, domestic work, and uh, of course, which the African men always don't, 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 don't like to do. But I've been telling them that, you know, in the villages, there are boreholes, okay? And women are the ones who go there and pump and pump the water. And the men are home to get the water. I've been telling them that, you know, this pumping, it, 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 it's, it's a better man's job. Because, you know, after some time, I'm sure that our women will, yeah, yeah. will have muscles and the yeah. men will be, you know, yeah. <laughs> not be strong enough. Exactly. And even bringing the, 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 the fuel, I mean, for fire, uh, you know, it's traditional, it's, it, you know, uh, women do it. But through education and as time goes, yes, it's going to... Yeah, things are going to change, but it needs some work. Uh, now I also, also want to appreciate what the church is also trying to do. And we, we need also to equip them more to do. They have been involved in peace uh, negotiations and peace discussion among the different tribes and so on. So, it, in fact, it's going to be a holistic approach. Well, that was uh, Anne Abie, a member of the South Sudan Parliament, speaking about the challenges women are facing in that country.